All right, got my package here from PB Swiss. Um, they had a phenomenal deal Black Friday on the PB Swiss Tools US site. It was 50% off, which is ridiculous for a brand like PB Swiss. Um, so got, got it in today. Kind of a ooh, kind of a PB Swiss branded box. Um, tells you their address, sales, pbtools.us, all, all that good stuff. Um, I haven't done anything to the box. I haven't opened it yet. Only thing I did was take the stickers off. So, it's right here so you can see it. There might be a another flyer in here which I might have to take out. Nope. Sweet. Um, of course, brown paper. All this stuff over here. Here we go. On the desk here. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Getting ready for Christmas and all that. All right, are you ready? Can you see? Yeah, you can. All right, let me see here. All right. One thing at a time. One little package at a time. First things first. Oh, yeah. This looks good. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Little by little. So, a couple long bits here. A number two, sorry, a number big long number two Phillips. Another big long number two Phillips. So two of those. And a long twenty-five Torx. A PB um, eight hundred dot fourteen. It is a flat chisel. Super sharp. Here, I'll show that to you a little bit closer. Super, super sharp. Really cool. Looks good. Doesn't have a serial number on it though, which I did not expect. So again, bits, chisel, and so I kind of forgot that I got this. Um, I meant to get a little bit bigger of a uh, flathead, but I didn't. This is a PB8120 8.0, com um, comma 8-40, colon, yeah, um, I don't even, I doubt it'll focus on that. It's, I, don't, I think it might be too tiny to focus on. I don't know if you can see that, but that is stupid tiny I thought I did not mean to get one this small but Swiss grip nonetheless and just phenomenal it even has a serial number on it I don't know how well you're gonna see this you're not gonna see it I'll I, I'm trying for you guys but I don't think it'll happen but it's it's microscopic like I don't know microscopic Next is, here we go, this is an offset Phillips head 2, it's a PB605.2, what I thought this would be good for is actually, um, well first things, one of the reasons why I bought it is I love PB Swiss's knurling again, and an offset screwdriver would come in handy on a lot of different things, but one thing I kind of thought was, like door handles and stuff, getting this in there is going to be wicked easy. So I thought that was cool. I thought it was a cool tool anyways. Um, it is really cool. It feels really nice. The knurling's pretty nice. Not as rugged as some of the other knurling I've seen, or coarse I should say, from PB Swiss. But it is good knurling. Nonetheless, here I'll get that close so you can see it. Okay. Alright. We'll do the couple more bits. Um, a eighth inch here I'll take them out how about that okay so a three thirty seconds three thirty seconds hex right there a twenty five torques right here small bits this time 
eighth on this, another standard flathead one. Hello? Hello? A one right here, flathead. And then a eighth inch and another eighth inch. I got two eighth inch head X. Okay, now we get to the main event. I'll leave these bits out. Main event is right here. So, nothing else in the box, as you can see. Let's start with this seal scraper. So this is the PB674.8-145. Swiss made seal scraper. Super bulky. Um, kind of hex. I don't even know what it's called. Ooh. And there it is. Look at that, man. That's going to be really nice. Scraping adhesive, glue, anything like that off of anything. That's going to be super, super, super nice. Again, serialized, of course. Absolutely big handle, too. Beefy handle, which is nice. Of course, it smells like vanilla. It's one of their standard handles, you know. Gorgeous. Yeah, definitely smells like vanilla. And then... The most expensive thing, this guy. So, this is the Insider 3. So this is their newest version of the PB Swiss Ratchety Insider. Um, with the 100 millimeter kind of uh, bit holder part here. Again, you've probably seen something like this before. Their Ratchety mechanism. Is nice. I'll let you just see that for a second. Frontwards, backwards. Um, it's the 6510.R-100. Again, Swiss made, of course. And this one carries 10 bits right in here, so it just pops up and out like this oh it only comes with one two three four five five bits hmm. weird as far as i knew it came with 10. that's weird it only came with a 10 torx 15 torx 20 and 25 Torx and a, what's this guy? A number three hex. Weird. As far as I knew, they came with a full set of bits. Hmm. Honestly, this ratcheting mechanism doesn't sound as good as I thought it used to. the uh, not this newest version before I've used one of the older versions before hmm, I don't know I'll definitely check to see but nonetheless here it is and that is the video I probably will have a further video on a couple of these things maybe at some point but for now just a showing of what I got so here's all my PB Swiss stuff together here um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Okay, so reasoning on why I got some of this stuff. So, first of all, um, I bought these hex bits here. I had the other ones. Here, let me flip the screen so I can see what I'm doing. I had, um, some Wii ones, but I kind of wanted the PB Swiss ones. I got an eighth and a three thirty seconds. I used those a lot. 
Um, one eighth is the size of the Delta um, set screws. Most of them, anyway. Um, which I do happen to use a lot, and it's handy to have. 330 seconds, I just feel like I run into a, a lot. So I put them in my stubby, because this is what I carry with me 99% of the time. Um, so now I have uh, 330 seconds, eighth, a couple, a smaller flat, a bigger flat, a number zero, one, and I keep a number two in it up top, right here. So there's that. Um, these guys, I wanted some longer. I wanted some longer bits, so I got these. Um, like I said, this will come in handy for certain things when you don't when you have limited space. Um, and I just kind of thought it was cool, so I bought that. Um, another eighth, another flat, just a couple extra bits. Um, and these were those Wea ones that I had prior to the Pegasus ones, or I still have, still use them. Um, this guy is one of my favorite drivers from them. Um, I use him a lot. Oops, sorry, too close. I use this a lot. But sometimes it would be nice to have a ratcheting one like this. Um, I did reach out to um, the PB Swiss US site and kind of asked them if they had a problem with bits or something because it does come with 10. It's supposed to come with 10. Um, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal anyway. Um, so like I said, all of the stuff I bought, I unpackaged today, was about $200, but I bought it on that Black Friday, so it brought it down to $100, which is awesome. So now this is kind of my, like, collection now of PB Swiss. Um, things I will use mostly, obviously, are any of the bits. Um, this guy, this guy. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. So these guys, and then I use this regular Phillips head and regular flat a lot. This guy I use less of. It's just a bit driver. I still use it. Um, this guy I have not used much. This is a number zero insulated Phillips head. This guy I'll definitely use too um, to scrape stuff. This is a nice handle. I really like this handle. It's beefy. Um, really beefy. Here's it compared to, I think it's about the same size. A little bit smaller than the ratcheting screwdriver, but a lot, a lot bigger than the small bit driver or small screwdriver. Also, um, let me know how the quality is on this. Um, if I need to change anything, I will um, on the camera side of things. Um, this guy right here, I don't really know why I bought it. I kind of wanted a little chisel. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to get one from BB Swiss. It is super, super, super sharp though. Again, it's not going to be like a, a detail work chisel or anything like that, obviously. Um, it's kind of more of like a rugged type chisel, you know what I mean? It'll still, it'll still kind of, you know, you know what I mean. But here's that again. So yeah. Um, It'll be good. These I'm excited for too. Um, these long bits. Kind of gives you extra, extra length. Um, it does work good. I can show you it working too if you guys are curious. I mean, I'm assuming you, you'll know it'll work, but um, here's it ratcheting reverse. And we're going to switch it to locked position. And then forward, oh, sorry, forward ratcheting, positioning, yeah, that is all I have for you, um, thank you again so much for watching, if you have any of these tools and any questions or concerns, let me know down below, thank you, bye-bye.